This is lecture 12, selecting a p-high based on the static pressure volume curve. This is under section 4, initial setup of p-high. Now the operator can set the p-high based on the pressure volume curve from a static measurement. And they can base their p-high measurement on looking at a value in the PV curve and looking at the lower inflection point and the upper inflection point. So this slide is an example of a Draeger Vita XL. And to do the low flow maneuver, or the static PV loop, you'll have to go into a special procedure. So the special procedure key has been hit, and under special procedures, there's a tab for low flow PV curve. And it's kind of hard to see. That's very blurry. It's a poor picture on my part. I'm sorry. So once we get to that special procedures, this is what the low flow pressure volume loop looks like when we go on the procedures. The first tab was info, what was in the previous slide, and this allows you to do the procedure. Now this is going to be common to people that currently do this to set their PEEP. So I'd recommend it in institutions that this is already a part of their protocol where they set um, PEEP levels based on PV curve analysis. However, this is going to be more difficult if you don't do this currently. So all you do is you follow the steps of your current policy and procedures for setting a PEEP or um, evaluating the PV curve and go through your operator's manual. So I'm just showing this example. So the next tab down is after we did the procedure is the analysis of the PV curve itself. What that does is allows you to scroll over and evaluate portions of the PV curve itself, looking for an upper and lower inflection point. And here's a couple examples. So here's an example of the upper inflection point is right here. And the lower inflection point, you can see the curve here. And there's my lower inflection point. And that's approximately probably that definitely my P high above this. And as you see, my upper inflection point, the point of over distensions, approximately about 39 centimeters of water. So I do not want to set my P high above this. So in this middle range, anywhere from 22 to I'd say 38 centimeters of water, you could set your P high level or you could start there. So I always start moderately, moderately a little lower than that. So that's one example. However, here's an example of the same curve and with this tool it allows you to um, assess the expiratory limb too. And with the expiratory limb, I can see the closure point or the points of de-recruitment. And this is highlighted right here with this scroll point, and it's approximately right there. And let's call that about 24 centimeters of water. Now I could also set my P high based on the deflation limb too, and set it a little over my P high you know, a little greater than 24 centimeters of water, but still under the upper inflection point of approximately 39 centimeters of water. This slide is just another example. This is a screenshot of the Hamilton G5, and they called their maneuver for PV analysis of the pressure volume curve they just call it the PV tool. And as you notice, I selected my tools under here, and that brings me to a hold or the PV tool itself. So the tool is similar to the Vetus tool, where it allows you to evaluate the inspiratory expiratory limb for both your lower inflection point, upper inflection point, or So this just demonstrates you can set your P high initially based on your pressure volume curve. 